because I like I was going out with a lunatic, right? <laughs> oh, love and it. it was crazy, dude. She was driving me nuts, and it was dangerous, and it was weird. And <laughs> why was she like, driving you nuts? She <laughs> looked like you just saw a ghost. She <laughs> had <laughs> mental problems, and I, of course, I was locked in. We like, like, I had broken up, up with it, her. I, I I tried to break up with her. I broke up with her. She would not leave my house. She didn't live at my house. <laughs> so literally, the day before I left for That's New York, stuff. I put her shit outside. But I've been there. Done it. And Done I'm it. like, I'm sorry, but you got to go. Yeah. And I had to leave the next morning to go do that CD and be interviewed by the New York Times about WTF. Okay, yeah. that was the big art section yeah. piece God. on the podcast. So I'm like, that. I'm getting texts during my interview for the New York Times from her, going like, I'm under your deck. Someone's called the police. <laughs> I'm outside right now. And I'm like, Oh my God, oh, is that sorry, me? Guys. No, that's me. Sorry. It was just crazy. And like, because I, I had to, you know, I literally had to call the police and, and tell her that she couldn't, she had oh, her own Jesus place. Jesus Christ. But she had gone back to the place. How hot was, was she though? I'll put up with some shit if they're hot enough. I yeah. just was taken with her. I thought she was bright and exciting and funny and cute. She and was. Sexy, All of those things. Majestic. All of those things. Yeah. And, and crazy. Uh, and crazy. crazy. But like, I, and I kept the, I never knew what a codependent fuck I was. Because I'm like, yeah. everyone around me was like, you know, no one was saying nothing, of course. Yeah. Right? Don't interfere. Yeah. Not your business. Yep. And like, and I just loved her. And after all that bullshit, after everything I went through to get to get her out of the house, and I was going to fucking uh, Al-Anon meetings. Yeah. I was doing the whole fucking trip. About four or five months later, it, I just broke. And I'm like, okay, let's have her. lunch. Yep. She's <laughs> back. Got to do it. <laughs> She's back. She's got to do it. it. She's back. And then and like six months later, I asked her to marry me. Oh, yep. <laughs> and then- uh, There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Mark Marin. <laughs> yeah. And then it just hit the wall again. I love I did, it. It was just sort of like one day, I'm like, I'm done, man. Yeah, I'm out. Man. Like I was on the road and she didn't come home all night. Yeah. And we were in couples therapy and I was trying to work this shit out. And then she admits, so I'm like, where the fuck, why the fuck would you not come home? Where were you? She goes, I think I did it to fuck you up. And I'm like, okay. Oh, I'm out. Yeah, so yeah, I'm right. Like I'm Je out. Je uh, Je Jeffrey Tambor, the actor, talks about how he said he's dating this girl and he's going to he just break up with her. He's going to break up with her. It's raining. It was raining. It was a thin, very light. He's meeting her at the end of the pier. I think it was the Santa Monica Pier. Mm -hmm. He's walking towards her. Nobody else is on the pier, and he goes, uh, "This is going to be tough, but I'm I'm going to break up with her because this is this is not good for me. Yep. It's not good for her, yeah. and I'm going to live my life. And this has obviously run its course, yeah. and everything else. And she's standing there, and the rain is falling on her <laughs> face, and she's beautiful. Yeah. And he's like, "So I'm going to break up with her." And here yeah. we go. And he looks at her like that. She's standing there, and he goes, "Will you marry me?" <laughs> <laughs> And by the way, got married and not, and then got divorced because uh, that's well, how it goes. Yeah, that's what I was gonna break up my longtime girlfriend. My dad goes doing a public place, so should I make a scene? You know what? You guys love PF Chains, right? I go, yeah, I like PF Chains. Just take PF Chains. It's gonna be yeah. easier. By the way, right there, you I, might be the worst breaker upper. The worst. Oh, in but general. when you do it during a dinner, you gotta. What do you? But he he also can't. It's my father's contrive. idea. So gotta I take, do it at the end. I of take the your dinner. PF Chains, and we're on. I'm so nervous. I'm like, just do it, but just pull the bandaid off, and I go, I'll take the chicken lettuce wrap. Like, you know, this just isn't. I can't. <laughs> Do this. She goes, what? I go, I, hey, wait, chill. I go, I just, it's just not working. She goes, are you? <laughs> she goes, are you breaking up with me? I go, Jesus Christ, no, 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 God, no, 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 no. <laughs> Stay with it for two more years. Whoa, two, two more years. years. Yeah. Two more years. Here's what happened when I broke up with uh, when I broke up with her. I literally like just it, I just hit this wall. It was right, you know, it was the day like literally the day before I think or two days before my fiftieth birthday. And um, and I just said, look, I'm done. Uh, you you know you can stay in the house as long as it takes you <laughs> to get out. Uh, you can keep the ring. I'll, I'll pay for a storage space for a year. I'll give you ten thousand dollars. I'm leaving. What a great I'm deal! I'm leaving my You're a house. Good guy. Yeah. And You're a I good started. Guy. I started like I just started staying at hotels from the hotel uh, app. Yeah. In yeah. town. Yeah. So I'm just going from hotel to hotel until she. Get gets out. out of my house yeah. yeah and i remember i was in a hotel in fucking west hollywood on my 50th birthday by myself and and ryan singer says let's go to Cantor's for your birthday i'm like 
all right, dude. So that's what I did. On my 50th birthday, me and Ryan Singer Jesus. sitting at Cantor's. How did that happen? Waiting for that fucking person to get out of my house. Did she go. get out? Yeah. She, not only did she get out, she cleaned the place, oh, which a, was the first time she ever did that ever. Wow. She used to have down. this room that I had. That she had her own kind of room for her shit. Yeah. And it was just this mound of clothing, garbage, and nail polish. And she cleaned the place immaculately and left a nice little note. Good for her. That's a nice send-off. That's yeah. a nice send off. And she my bugged girl, me a little for a little while, but then yeah. I just detached. I, I was really kind of done. My girl took all my cl- all my furniture, and I mean all of it, and the bed I was sleeping in, yeah. woke me up. That was good. And, really? Uh, oh yeah. And then well, uh, that the divorce was different. I lost a lot more on the divorce. Yeah. This was are. like you know this was I felt bad about it, but it was just like it just got too volatile, too weird. And in, you know when somebody has a certain type of mental disposition, it's never going to get better. And I'm old. But what was the... How, the how old one? is Mark? I'm 56. Is there a through line to what women complain to you about you? Because for me, it's not being present or considerate. Like, I'm too much in my own world. I've gotten a little better. Like, the phone thing was... like, But this is the last one. So I'm in a new relationship now. And then I was with the painter who I loved for like uh, four and a half years. But we just, I just had a hard time communicating. My biggest issue my whole life has been anger. So... And like I've been aware of that, and I know that it's a terrible thing. Or, or thank God, because it's why you're a great comic. But yeah, on. but but like it's yeah, like it's I didn't know how to communicate yeah. emotionally, and I'd somehow you know sometimes I get you know angry. But like with the last woman, after I mean, I went out with Moon for a while, Moon Zappa for six months, oh. and and I broke up. That was very clean. It was again. It was just it was right after the. The other woman who I wrote, you know, yeah. and I got in with Moon. And I used to be in love with her. We had a crush on each other. We known each other a long time. But six months in, I'm like, I was just sort of like, I'm yeah, done. I sure. can't do it. And it was that clean. And then the one I went out with before Lynn was a painter and I loved her. But there was no drama. It was really easy, low key. You know, it was a different vibe. Sure. But there was an age difference and a world difference. And I just couldn't come. She really, was how old? 40. But I couldn't make her laugh. Uh-huh. I was having a hard time communicating with, and that wears on you in a while. And yeah, I started I had the weird realization. The realization was like, I'm 56. Yeah. I've been married twice. I got no kids, and I and I don't have to do anything I don't want to do. And I certainly don't owe my life to anybody. Huh. So you know, not for nothing, and no, no harm, no foul. In a way, I can't do this anymore, and then I don't want to work on. Was it. she surprised? That's right. She was, and I think she was hurt, and I and it was, and I felt bad, and I still feel bad, but. I, why do I? Why can't I try to be happy? Yeah, it's a, yeah. If it's you know fair. that, like, there's a fundamental issue here that I don't think we're going to overcome. I got to go. Yeah, you, you don't, need, so, to be, you don't even the, need to be a martyr. And now the new, no. and now the new girl. It's a fit. She's like age. She's like my age, roughly a couple years younger, and we have a lot in common. We understand each other, and there's just such a weight off. It's horrible to be in a relationship where you're like, oh. yeah. yeah, you know, and you love them, but you're still like, oh. you know, it's not a fit. Yeah. yeah. And I feel bad, I guess, for letting it go on so long. But this one is it's great, but because we're so alike, then I, I there's also those kind of issues. Like hell yeah. You know, sort of like, are you just copying me now? <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I have this new bit where I'm like, um I deal with the anger. Like I, I say, uh like I don't know how to communicate properly, emotionally. You know, like for instance, like a couple weeks ago, I just tried to start a fight with my girlfriend all day for no, for no reason, yeah. just poking, poking, just so eventually she would snap, and I go, "What's the matter?" You know, like so. So I wish there was an app. Like, why don't they have an app? Because like when you're an asshole, you got a few seconds. You yeah. know what's going to happen. Yep. Like it, you feel it coming up, and you know, know, but rarely can you stop it. Right. So why don't they have an app that you at least can turn the app on? It'll translate what you really mean nice. when you're an asshole fuck, like man. like for instance when you go like uh fuck you you don't fucking love me then the app goes i love you very much Correct. <laughs> like, yeah. Right. Yeah. and then the other one is like uh, my favorite is like you're fucking with my head you're manipulating me and the app's like i feel very close to you right now it's making me uncomfortable <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, this is this is what makes you special, <laughs> and your honesty, and your. I can't wait to see the specials right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch your tone. Uh, okay, what's gonna happen? What are you gonna do? Use some of that <laughs> boxing you've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you fucking disrespect. <laughs> <laughs>